Okay, so I came here with the idea that I was going to talk about my week three reflections and I spent a little bit of time this morning preparing what I was going to talk about and then I realized it's not day 21, it's day 20, that's tomorrow. <laughs> so now I don't have a topic. Um, and so I thought, you know what, not enough time to think about what am I going to talk about next and to, to plan a few key points to talk about. Um, and I looked at my bank of ideas and I was like, I don't want to rush any of these. These are things I really want to talk about and take time. But something came up yesterday in the group program with one of my clients that I thought might be interesting to talk about. So my client posted something on Instagram that really wasn't negative or anything. He was just given his opinion, but he was saying it in such a way that, you know how it is, you know, social media, especially a platform like Instagram, I don't use it. I have an account just to see what my uh, clients are up to, <laughs> but I don't use it um, yet, maybe someday. Anyway, it's, yeah, people are triggered. And it doesn't take a lot to get somebody to respond and start picking a fight. And the worst thing you can do online, especially if you're building a business or a brand, the worst thing you can do is distract yourself with these kinds of conversations. Now, this person didn't mean to do that. This client didn't mean to do that. What he meant to do was to genuinely respond to something that he thought was very important, which is, you know, he noticed how there was a, a topic that could have been delved deeper into, but the person was packaging it in a way that was just like a sound bite. And so he said, you know, he wished he had seen more. He wished he had seen a little bit more depth. And of course, people, <laughs> The way you said it and everything, people people took it out of context and um, started picking arguments with him. So this got me thinking like, how, why do we comment on social media and how do we approach the whole commenting thing? Because when you're building a business, you're commenting for completely different reasons than somebody who's just using social media for social media's sake, just using it to talk to people, entertain themselves, etc. This is how I see it and you know I invite you to think about it and see if this resonates with you or share with me if you're seeing it differently. The way I see it is first of all I probably never would have used any social media if it wasn't for the fact that I am building this brand. This is what started me back on social media in the first place. I had a Facebook account when I was really young in university and pretty quickly realized it's not for me, it was toxic, not the platform, but how I was, I was using it and the state of consciousness I was in at the time and the people I was connected with. And I just grew out of it and I stopped using it. So I built my previous business behind the scenes. I built it all on just being in the space for so long and I didn't need social media necessarily to get clients. With this one, it was more than just getting clients. It was also sharing a message and I knew that social media is the platform or the platforms, the tools, the channels that I want to use. It's a huge opportunity to be able to get your message out there and have a media channel for yourself. So I wasn't going to pass on this opportunity, but it has to be used with care. The way I use commenting is I see it as an opportunity to be seen by more of my ideal clients. And so where I engage and with who and how is really the mindset is, okay, do I want to put an ad here basically? Because my comment is going to be, it's going to be a um, kind of like a mini post or a tweet. If you think about a tweet or, or a little short post, obviously you don't, you're not going to write a whole article in the comment sections, probably not, but it is going to connect to the main point that this person is talking about. And it's going to continue the conversation because what happens if you think about your own behavior when you're watching a YouTube video, there's a very good chance that as you're watching the YouTube video, you're going to the comment sections and you're reading them. And sometimes a comment grabs your attention and you you're curious about that person's profile. That's exactly the mindset that we're building from. Okay. I'm looking at the time. I'm going to stop looking at the time. I know I said five minute limit, but sometimes I just have to make a freaking point. Okay. So this is how I see it. Does it mean every single comment I leave? is with the intent of, oh, I'm, I'm putting my profile, I'm giving my profile exposure and visibility. No, not necessarily. A lot of times I will comment just because I genuinely like this topic. I want to say something about it. Um, 
because there is the person who is who's writing it is a fellow creator that I'm connected with and I want to support them um, because I feel that uh, you know I don't know sometimes it's just fun but nine times out of ten the idea is can I add something here is there an opportunity here to share something of value to share something that shows expertise related to this big topic and this is like accounts that could, that could range anywhere from just a few followers to two millions of followers that's not the point of course more is better all else being equal but quality over quantity so it is an opportunity to be seen by more people because when you think about it on social media you're going to post you're not going to post 20 times a day some people do maybe on some platforms like x twitter yes but for the most part you're not going to post that often but if you give yourself an opportunity to comment here and there you're creating more opportunities to, for exposure because a lot of these platforms they work on a timeline this is one of the things i love about youtube in particular is that you can create a video and it's still going to be relevant in a year in five years in ten years we don't care how long ago a video was posted whereas if you look at a platform like instagram you know it's just a constant scroll for what is the latest newest flashiest thing that just came out okay so you know keeping all of these things in mind anyway so this is how i perceive it now sometimes i see a post and i feel like i want to say something but i know that this is a touchy subject and i know that if i say it the way i want to say it right now there is a good chance somebody's going to misunderstand it and it's going to start a whole conversation that is not going to help my business it's not going to enrich my day it's not going to help me it's not going to help anybody it's just going to create more you know it's just, it's like a i don't know it's like a karmic creation you know it's like you create something and it creates a ripple effect of more stuff that is not the kind of stuff that you would want in your life and then, and then in those moments I, moments i ask myself do i care enough about this to stop and take the time to rewrite this thing as diplomatically as possible. Like, do I care about saying something about this? Is it important enough to me that I'm gonna take a, you know, take a breath, breathe through it, process what I need to process, and then write it in a way that I know is gonna land right or as close as possible to write to the other person who is reading it, no matter how triggered they are, because I genuinely, legitimately really want to start this conversation with them the answer most of the time is no honestly most of the time it's no because a lot of these posts are designed and created in such a way that that's exactly what they want they want a freaking reaction and i'm not available for that like i'm not gonna i'm if a person is not sincerely trying to have a conversation about something why why would i waste my time if it's an obvious troll an obvious negative post i'll just click on the three dots or whatever the equivalent is and just tell the algorithm, I don't want to see this, you know, and the, the algo will not show it to me anymore. And I've trained it to stop showing me that kind of stuff. But if, you know, if, if I'm saying this is if, if the person is clearly trying to get reactions out of people, just because I don't want that energy around me. So I'll just, I'll just put it away. But if they simply have like a, a polite and gentle, and you know reasonable post and i just disagree with it and i have a strong opinion about it i'll still ask myself does this matter to me is this aligned with my goals why am i here on this platform we should never forget why we're using social media i don't know about you but i'm not using social media for real human connections because the real connection happens once i speak to a person on social media once we take that away from the shallow conversations and into a real conversation that's the real connection that's when the connection happens but in the beginning it's just a platform for me to share to throw conversations at scale and like a guidepost see who it attracts and who it repels it's like a very high level thing and so i don't want to lose myself in the feed and in the conversations and the endless pit of people who are triggered and who don't want to work on what's happening within them and they're looking for ways to process that by not even process it but by throwing it at other people i'm not taking a jab at anyone this is something i've done too in the past before i learned what i was doing and became aware of it so you know bottom line is remember why you're on social media breathe through it and if you want to talk more about it leave a comment wherever you're seeing this and i'll talk to you soon bye oh wait
there's actually a um, resource. I'll leave it wherever you're seeing this on how to stop getting triggered by social media comments. I totally forgot about it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.